Hello folks, today we're going to make a delicious hearty soup. This is a variation of a beef barley soup. It's going to be venison barley soup. I'm starting with a pound and a half of venison that has been cut, cubed, quite small. You can see these pieces are all about half an inch in size. I have a half a cup of barley. Uh, I will need some olive oil. I have three carrots cut up here. I also have three stalks of celery and I have half an onion and it calls for a, a pound of mixed frozen vegetables but I have a cup of frozen peas here. It calls The recipe calls for three cups of water. I have two cups of water here and I will be adding an additional cup of water when I do the cooking. Uh, four, three or four cubes of beef bouillon, a tablespoon of white sugar, a quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper, a 28 ounce of tomatoes right here. That is chopped stewed tomatoes, salt to taste and black pepper to taste. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to saute the onions and the celery. Sauteing the onions and celery over medium heat using a tablespoon of olive oil. The onions and the celery have been sauteed. You can see the onions have become caramelized or translucent and the same with the celery. I'm going to take these off the heat. Now it's time to saute the venison. Make sure your oil is hot. Toss a couple pieces in. You'll be able to see it is hot. Because you want to sear the meat. So put the meat in and let it sit and get a brown coating, like brown the meat on one side. The point here is not so much to cook the meat as to give it a uh, brown the outside of it. Once your meat has been browned and there's still a little bit of liquid in the pan, you're going to want to add a tablespoon of flour. And we're going to stir, stir that flour in. The flour is for thickening. We're going to thicken the soup a little bit, but the flour is optional. You, if you like your soups a little thicker, more like stews, then then a little flour helps thicken it. Deglaze the flour mixture. I'm going to add the bouillon and water mixture. And give that a stir. the tomatoes. I'm going to add the sautéed onions and celery and the carrots. And the frozen peas. Give this a stir. I'm just going to need a big pot for this. You can add the bay leaf now. You can add the barley now. This barley I just soaked for four hours um, just using tap water. So you can see here, just, I've drained it first before adding it. I'll give that a stir. Soup simmer for a while because what you want to do is you want the, the meat to finish cooking and tenderizing and you want the uh, acid from the tomatoes to also tenderize the meat and to let all the flavors mix and blend together. And for serving with this, a good hearty bread or buns 